Everybody was wet. We were under a heavy rain. 
Thus spoke to me. Nobody will live today night prayer the same. Il y a une présence extraordinaire. There is an extraordinary presence. Just raise your hand. Chante avec moi de. Sing with me. Just raise your hand. Sing. Sing. Que Dieu a préparé. He sees what God has prepared. Et il déclare dans ta vie. And he declares it in your life. I'm not here to preach. But I'm here to declare. You speak on your life. But I'm here to declare. You speak on your life. You speak on your life. But I'm here to not to speak as a friend. I've got anointing. I've got a word. 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 May you please stand. If you have a car, the car is yours. If I've got a car, my car is the car of Pastor Benson Putu. But if the president of the country were to come, were to take my car and drive my car, it will become it will be removed from an extraordinary car. They will call it a presidential car. If we meet at home, I bless you. It's my word. But if I stand here and I prophesy on your life, whatsoever I speak, it, it's not my word, it's the word of God. And the Bible declares, He is behind with words. In someone's life, there are three things. There are three ways to advance in life. The first one is to walk. The Bible is saying those who put their trust in the Lord, the Bible is saying they will walk. They will never get tired. The second one is to run. He said, after walking, they will run. Without getting tired, it does not end. Go to the third level. He said the third level. They will not walk. They will not run. They will fly. That's an evil. Let me lift my hand. Let me lift my hand. Let me lift my hand. Look at your name. 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 Look at your
Prends ta Bible, 1 Samuel, le chapitre 7. Si tu as ta Bible, dis avec moi, j'aime Jésus. Say, I love Jesus. Ah, là où tu dis, Central, est-ce que vous allez avoir? Je veux te sentir. Les amis, je, je parle de cela pendant 15 minutes. Et puis, 20 minutes et puis on... 1 Samuel 7, verset 12. Vous y êtes Et là, je vais vous donner un peu de volume sur votre voix. Et donc, je vais vous donner un peu de volume. Ok. 1, 2, 3. Come on. Then Samuel 2, verset 12. Amen, amen. Amen. Je répète. I repeat. Samuel prit une pierre. Samuel took a stone. Qu'il passa à Mitzapa, à Mitzpa. Between Mitzpa et Shem. And Shem. Il appela du nom de Benézer. En disant, jusqu'ici, l'Éternel nous a sauvés. Le verset 13, dans le mythe de Samuel, le roi. Can you read as a choir? Three, two, one. Les Philistins finissent d'humilier. Tell your, look at your neighbor and say. Le papa vous allez humilier la dernière. Say that we put to shame this year. Amen. Et ce qui n'a humiliation, c'est. It does not end in shame. Et il ne vit plus sur les territoires d'Israël. And they stopped invading Israel's territory. La main de l'Éternel fut comme contre les Philistins pendant toute la vie de Samuel. Tell your neighbor. Look at your neighbor. Le matin que nous n'avons vivant. As long as I am alive. Souffrance. Suffering. Et voyant la famille. Will not come to my family. Amen. On termine à quatorze. Quatorze. Tiens moi voix. Ok. Un des camions. Le vie que les Philistins avaient pris sur Israël retournait à lui. Amen. Et attends la bête à voisin cinq. Tell five neighbors. But whatever the story in your life, it is being restored. Whatever was stolen in your life, it is being restored. I am finished preaching. Listen to me for 20 to 15 minutes. When we have just read, the Bible is telling a story of a man called Samuel, a prophet of God. That prophet was born miraculously. He was born from a barren woman. The name was Anna. He was born from a barren woman. Name was Anna. Since she was put in shame by prayer, God gave Samuel, Samuel and Samuel brought glory in his mother's life. I'm here to tell someone. And every mother that suffers, you have seen their shame in the time you were the poor. God told me to tell you, you. God has sent you to this world for you to remove your mother's shame. There are people here. Your mother will die and you will remove the shame of your family. Preach with me. Look at your neighbor. Say my neighbor. Whatsoever you receive in prayer. Remove your 
La Bible dit the Bible says, c'est la bénédiction des It's the blessing of the Lord that makes rich and it no sorrow. What you are going to live with today will remove the shame. Deuxième chose par rapport à Samuel. The second thing according to Samuel. Samuel était un homme étrange. Samuel was a strange man. It was Samuel que Dieu a utilisé that God used to remove autocracy in Israel. Theocracy. The reign of God in Israel through his servants to put monarchy the people who study the Bible the call the prophet, prophet Samuel he's not any type of a prophet they call him the doer the maker he's not like any other prophet a maker of gifts the maker of kings. Uh -huh, the maker of the kings. Maker of kings. In life, many people can be kings. But in life, they are not meant to be kings. They will never ever be kings. But then, they are the makers of kings. Dynamic faith. Uh, children can never. The Bible is saying uh, the children are like the arrows that the fathers are pushing. He did not become king. But he was the maker of kings. I stand without shame and I say, if I'm not a millionaire, do not want to be a millionaire. Do not want to be a millionaire. In the beginning of the year, I 
voiture. I lost my car. Pasteur Joy. Pasteur Joe came. Dit, Papa, Papa, he said, Pasteur, they gave me a tube. I'm giving it to you. I bless you. I said, they come and I'm going to die. It will be more. Two months later, they gave me a tube. More than me. After some time, Pasteur, I'm going to die. He said that this car is going to be broken. Mercedes. I'm going to buy Mercedes. I They came to look for Samuel in his palace. They were fearing. They were crying. They were shaking. Why were they shaking? Why were they lamenting, crying? Because it, it's more than 20 years. The Philistines destroyed Israel. They gave failure to Israel that Israel has never lived before. Follow me before you can understand Ebenezer. The Bible says 20 years later, Israel fought with the Philistines in Mizpah. And during in that battle, the Bible says the Philistines they killed fourteen thousand soldiers, fourteen thousand soldiers of the Israelites. It's not it doesn't stop me. It's not the problem. But during their battles, they took Israel, uh, the Ark of God, which was with. Representing the power of God. Israel can lose the fight, but they cannot lose the ark. The Bible says the only thing which was the strength of Israel was the ark. The Philistines, they took the ark, they placed it in their temple of their God. Dagen. It did not end there. They are priests. They are pastor. They are spiritual father. Called Elijah. Uh, fell and died. Why did he die? His two, only his two kids that he gave birth to died. It did not end there. The Bible says the wife of one of his children was pregnant. It was not time to give birth yet. They told that woman the, the, your in-law is dead. Your husband is dead. Israel lost the battle and the ark was taken. The Bible is saying she wanted to go into labor. She was in labor. The pains. She was in pain. She gave birth. 
before her time. Sage femme à the, wi the wise woman looked and said, Be at peace. Because he gave birth to a son. He looked at the boy. He looked at Israel. He looked at the boy. He looked at the Indian. He looked at the son. He looked at the ark. And said, You, they shall call you Ichabod. Ichabod. Meaning La the glory of God. Look at your neighbor. Tell your neighbor. I don't know what they are calling you from your in laws. I don't know what they are calling you from your in laws. And your family back home. Tell your neighbor. I don't know what they are calling you. You will go out with a new name. Say Ika Bot. Say Ika Bot. Say Ika Bot. Say Bot. If you look at your family very well, you are living in Kabot. If every two months you encounter with your family, for you to bury someone, that is in Kabot. If a family of nine people, uh, no one is succeeding, that is in Kabot. If you go went to school, the level of your education, the universities that you went to, but you cannot even send little money to your mother. That is equal. If in your family, even if you are married, you divorce. That is equal. But listen to me. They suffered for 19 years. The 20th year, they came into a period. Suffering shall not last in our life. Dynamic faith. They say on the 20th What's changed? 2023 is the 20th year of someone who's left. Once everything has a start, everything has an end. There is ten and nine You see this year? You see this year? You will not repeat your story. Look at your neighbor. Say my neighbor. The name of Jesus. They came to see the prophets. I'm going to conclude. They said, Prophet, we suffered because of the Philistines. Pray for us. Pray for us. Look at your neighbor and repeat after See, my neighbor, every battle that you cannot fight, my neighbor, every battle with your own effort you cannot win, give it to God. In Cape Town, I said, uh, a friend of more than 15 years entered uh, enter into my room. The wife, she was she was fat, a very obese lady. But she was coming. I looked at the pastor in South Africa. Has no, he has no shoes. He has uh, Crocs on. He entered and told me, Pastor Benson, pray for me. I asked, what's the problem? He said, Pastor, it's been six months. My wife dreamt an animal biting her uh, on the chest when she woke up and she started having pains. From that day, you went to the hospital. Doctors are saying, you are late. She has has cancer advanced level of cancer. <coughs> there is nothing we can do. We are going to have chemotherapy, but she will not survive. 
Azongi, the praise, the praise that the pastor took away, uh, they hate, they bang, they miss, the sickness is becoming worse. They went back to the church and invited Pastor K, was angry. She took the, he took the entire church with the elders, deacons. He was only left with five members. I say, Pastor, the problem that I'm here for, they lied for me at work that I raped a, a toddler, a teenager. As I'm here, they gave me pain. Those who want to judge me, they are asking for 20 years in prison because there are more than four girls who are there to testify that I have raped them. The pastor knelt down. He said, you are a servant of God. I cannot lie. I have not even touched the girls. I fear God. In one year, so many things happened to him. Look at your neighbor and say, the battle that you cannot fight. God is telling you, give it to him. I asked him, did you fast? We are fasting. Did you pray? We pray. It's not finishing. Did you call your spiritual father? It's been more than 15 years that we don't speak with him. I know their spiritual father. I called him. And I was speaking to their spiritual father. Forgive them. Just speak a word with their life. See, those are stingy people. They are very stingy. They've never sent a full drink. I said, Papa, after this situation, they will send. The pastor said, your things I stand like a servant of God whatever the Lord finished it's finished he said like a Jew it is finished the name of Jesus cut the prayer the pastor said Papa that prayer finished yeah it's finished it's been more than a month and a half since I came back here thank you God gave victory. He took a stone and placed it there and said, From today onwards, this stone, I will give it a name. Look at your neighbor. You say this, the season of the Ebenezer. God is not going to give it to you. But it's your mouth that will declare 2023. I give you a name. It is my year. Ebenezer. No one gave it a name. They took a stone on their own, placed it there. Jesus Christ, Jesus Christ is the cornerstone. They took the stone, they placed their faith, they called it Ebenezer. Ebenezer is two words combined. Eben means stone. Zer means help. If you put it together, Ebenezer is the stone of help. He says, up to this part, the Lord has helped me. I'm going to conclude my preaching. When they declared the season of Ebenezer in their life, what did what, what things happened? The first thing, 
déclarons Ebenezer. When we declare Ebenezer in our lives, oh God, we put our enemies to shame. Look at your neighbor and preach with me. You see today's prayer is here for you. Are they doing it? Change it on the neighbor and say, neighbor, but what if I want to shake you in 2022? What am I going to shake? 2023, I'll ask for forgiveness. I'm asking for forgiveness from the wishes of your family. Those who are fighting for forgiveness. 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 God not only blessing you is not true. God has to bless you and has to secure you. After him, whatever God will give you, your hands are secured. Satan does not fear those who fear this year. You make Satan fear. You make Satan fear. All the times of life yeah, Samuel. of Samuel, by enemy his enemies Israel. Uh, did not enter Israel. Family Your family, because, because of you, they can't finish it today. Since you were born from that family, God told me to tell you, you see your pride of that family, as long as you be alive, as long as you be a member, as long as you cannot pray, the tears of your family because of Samuel, 
They said the enemy did not touch Israel. Lift up your hand. Say in the name of Jesus. 2023 There is a strong anointing. God is showing me three people. There are doors which were not opened. Up to the end of the year. God is showing me the 12th of January. It will not pass. It will not there's a strong anointing of God because God is releasing oil God is showing me three women people who cried this year but they cried till their tears is dried up there is no year that they were put to shame like 2023 but God is telling he is placing oil in them protocol ashes I'll only touch them they will all shout they are three there is a strong anointing of God there is a strong anointing of God the anointing is accumulating I will see those things. They are not in the shimmer. They are not in the shimmer. They are not in the shimmer. They are I can see three angels circulating and they are visiting people. God is telling me many people here that will enter 2020 with a new anointing. God is giving them what are our problems. They are two. God is going to give them that many protocol. Ashes. Bring them here. As they are bringing the anointing. And someone shouts. And someone falls. Bring them quickly. Whatever was stolen. But whoever was taken from them. Ebenezer. 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 Lift up your hands. Say Say to when we are going to sing, it's like a bomb falling. There is someone who is sick on the outside. God will touch you. Mm -hmm. 
will be out of your voice. Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit. You are not eating yet, you will just hold it. You hold everything on your hands. Please, let's do it quickly. You come, you take the protocol, help me. Just come, Pastor. Please come, 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 come and fetch it. Please let us go. Start with the people in front. Start with the elders. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Il me reste deux ou trois petites choses à faire rapidement. Mais Banda Toye. Non, non, mon esprit a fait. Dans la voisine. Ma Banda Toye. On a vraiment le rôle aux alentours. Look at your neighbor. Say, give me some space. I'm here to praise God. Dynamic faith. With the remaining 25 minutes, stand. Dance for God. As you came for a celebration. Many people know you. They said, we looked at him. We know that he here in the church. One week, two weeks, a month. Up until they said that now he's a dynamic 
But I will ask you, come and visit us. Under formation déjà. But he's already following the training. Leadership and ministry. Leadership and ministry. Yeah. There is something inside. He told me a testimony. He was doing business. Selling cars. It was dried up. The way he is here. Now people are ordering. His testimony, no matter the level you are in, God does not refuse anyone. This church is open for everybody. We are also waiting for you. Amen, amen. Amen. Un couple merveilleux. A marvelous couple. Je crois qu'ils vont pouvoir témoigner dans mon poussé. They also have to testify. Ce que tu as fait. What God has done. Pendant la naissance de Yamwana na Bako. During the birth of their child. Trois minutes. Three minutes. Pas de surprise. No extra time. Là, j'invite le couple pour former. Because time passed already, I wasn't aware that I'll testify again. In short, we praise God for the birth of our child. It wasn't easy. You would see me after work and here. It wasn't easy. It was in short. Now we are going to the clinic of Bez Valley. Mama, come here. Six months and a half. She was 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 six months and a half. A few moments later, they checked her and they said her high blood pressure is high. You cannot go with her. They admitted her in the hospital. I saw they were taking her in the maternity room so she could give birth. I asked the doctors, is she going to give birth? I told them that she is six months and a half and no people give birth through nine months. With the level that she is in, she will give birth to the, in the six month period. If we keep the baby, we can lose them both. I said no problem. I called Pastor Benson. I explained to him how everything was going. He told me, Be calm and let's see how it will go. She went to give birth, but they told her to wait. We will check her and then we will tell you the result. She spent two months, one month and a half, approximately one month and a half. I was paying transport taxi to go and visit. I was asking what's wrong. They are telling me that the way she's good like this, let us keep her here. That time I became like a doctor myself. Now I began asking what is the matter. Now doctors are busy changing. The South African doctor came. 
We are seeing close to the kidney is not good. Where are kidney coming from? Where is it coming from? She does not smoke, she does not drink nothing. They changed. It was now her livers. I called Pastor Benson and I explained to him. Now it was very complicated. They even got to the heart. They took everything they say. They're explaining to me that this woman's is so cold. Her blood is one of the child is dying. We should take out the child. Now it was seven, eight months. Now it was remaining one time. And I was like, I'm going to go to the hospital. You are not going to remove the child in eight months. They said, okay. I asked for the bed and I said, right now, I have to take her out of there. Before taking her out of the house, Pastor Benson, Pastor Benson prayed. The day he prayed, I was like, it's over. Pastor, Pastor prayed. I have the voice notes. I'm like, no, it's over. I gave her the voice notes. It was in tongues. Take the voice that place it on your tongue. In the morning, I went there. It was still complicating. Let's go to another place. I signed the papers. The way you are going, you will lose one and one will be alive. And the way you are going, you will lose one and one will be alive. I was like, my father told me, His God is alive. I am the God of my father. I will not lose either of them. Now I am going to another place, far away from Joburg. They welcomed us. We followed the treatment. God helped the day that she was conceiving. We went there. That day, Daddy was even angry. It was a Sunday night. Daddy was angry. 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 He received my call at that hour. God is good. There was a mother who was at the door of the maternity room. Now that mother was more interested in me. She said, I will help you. They want to take me out. They said, no, you stay here. She said, you stay here. She was a security. We are speaking, we are conversating, and we are also praying outside. I said, let me conversate with this mother that I'm a foreigner, I work at this place. She said, yes, I'm a foreigner, I work at this place. And she decreased the price that they charged us. And she decreased the price that they charged us. The way you are here, I know you well. That's what they want to say. She said, yes, I know you well. You are not the security that they are here. I was like, yes, this mother is not close. I'll even tell you your shop how it is. I asked her, how do you know me? I asked her, are you a prophetess? She's like, no. Now what is showing you that I work there? Because everything you say is true. She lifted up her cloth. I saw so many beads. On her neck, it was food because the shirt covered it. She was a native doctor. A nurse in the hospital. I said, right now, the place to send fire is not fire. This is the place to send fire. I called Pastor Benson. He began to pray. I also sent fire wherever that lady was standing. In a few minutes, she delivered. Yeah, yeah, yeah.
Je vais vous libérer à 4 heures. Mais avant de libérer, les amis, c'est notre groupe qui m'a donné ce témoignage. C'est important que dans un babango, c'est le couple de bien-aimés Francis et Maman Diane. Maman Diane, qui va te voir. Both of you, as they are coming, please help me welcome them. You are more than welcome, Papa Francis. You are more than welcome. Let's go. What God has done. In three minutes. Three Not minutes. Long. All right. It's thank you. Um, God has been grateful. Beloved, it is a privilege to have a man of God that you can call at any time. Yeah. Than watching on TV or paying 5,000 rent. It's a privilege to have a man of God that you can call at any time. In June, I went to Zambia. My father was in hospital. He had in cancer. June, his situation was so bad that his skin color changed and he was urinating blood. So I met Pastor before I traveled. And he has been, and he told me to be in touch with him every time. The doctor said he had to do two surgeries. Yes. They said that the, 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 the chances of him making it in that surgery is too small. He won't cannot make it. survive. He cannot survive in Amen. that surgery. And pastor has been praying and interceding. He even sent voice notes. Sent voice notes of prayer. He says, when you're in that room with your father, play this voice note. And I did so. The first surgery that he went, that they, they underwent, that they did, it was successful. successful. Yeah. The second surgery, it was not necessary. It was not necessary. Hallelujah. Because the second surgery was where what was blocking him from urinating properly was urinating blood. The doctors wanted to keep him two, one week, two weeks, three weeks in hospital for the for, for just for him to have that second surgery. We said no. Pastor has already prayed and he has declared. And what daddy declared. It came to pass. Yeah. He says, you know, and now, as I was speaking to my dad, every time my father, I speak to my father, he says, that man, Pastor Benson, is really a true man of God. Yeah. Yeah. And he said, and he said, he said that why? Because even the testimonies at home keep on coming. Come on. Yeah. I'll go first because of time and I'll reduce it because it's a lot. I'm testifying for the importance of the covenant we make here. From the beginning of the year, we give for our family, for my father, for my siblings in Congo. We give covenant every month. In May, the, they broke in our house back in Congo. They were tied. They beat up my father's wife. They wanted to rape her because they needed money. My father said, I don't have money. He left the money at the office that day. They did not believe it. They beat up my younger sibling. My father wanted to defend. They beat up my father. They took a brick. They hit him on the head. They took a rope and they tied him on the neck to strangle him. Up until he lost conscious. They saw that the money wasn't out. They took the phone. They took the little things that were in the house. They left. My young sibling began to shake. My father and my father 
They slept, nothing happened to them. They did not have phones. He took the wife and the children went to the aunt from the father's side. And the aunt from the father's side took them to the hospital. They called me in the morning when I'm speaking to my father. It's like I'm saying my final goodbyes. They hospitalized my dad because they had to stay and they checked the wife, she wasn't hurt, she was fine. My younger siblings were just hurt outside, but nothing happened inside. After all the examination, after two days, my father came out of the hospital. Two weeks before that attack, he had to get a promotion. They wanted to give him before his promotion. Just after that, they attacked him. It's been 10 years. There are no promotions. Now, when he received that attack, he got a promotion. I don't want to die. I will not go to Yovu. We'll have to wait. It was very complicating to come to church. Now, I will pray like a small child. God, we need a car. In 2023, Lord grant us grace to have our own car. We are also saving aside to buy a car. But God surprised us. They gave us a car. You see today's night vigil. You will testify. 